Y'all, welcome back to the Bunny Barn. We are back with another episode of Metal Around the World. It's late right now. I need. I want. I decided to do this all late because um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna have time tomorrow, and I wanted to get this out before the month ends. So I will be having this scheduled up eventually. And as always, I, w I would like to talk a little bit about, you know, just about the country or give you a quick little fact or whatever. Apparently, Greenland is not really like an independent country itself. It's still owned by Denmark. Um, but Denmark did give them something called home rule. Basically, it's like they make their own rules and their own laws and stuff like that. They even change the Danish language to their Greenlandic language. So that's just a little information I found right there about Greenland. It's actually quite interesting i'll leave a link below that i found some information on um i know the united states also tried at one point trying buying greenland from um denmark but denmark was like no way and because apparently america wanted to use it for territory you know for military territory against the russians during the cold war i believe i am very happy with this country i only found four bands but i am very happy and the metal from here, oh god, if it wasn't, you know, if it wasn't for like money situations and you know, this industry just being so competitive and everything, I really wish we could like hear more bands like on the radio from Greenland, that would be so cool or just, you know, just through social media, like this country is like such a gem, it really is. First band I want to talk about, Arctic Spirits, um, that is more of a very classic heavy metal, so if that's what you're into and you like more, then this is definitely the band for you. They sing in their language Greenlandic, and it's really interesting to be hearing that language. Um, Definitely give this band a try you guys um, if, especially if you're more into like the more classic heavy metal as always I will leave links below and the next band is a black metal band and let's see I'm looking at the name right now. It's called Morar. I hope I'm pronouncing it right um, It's like a very icy chilling type of black metal and the music and everything is just like you could definitely feel the isolation in fact you got to think about it greenland's not that much of a big country it may be big but population wise is not so you could definitely feel the isolation in this music from this person um okay i'm not gonna lie i didn't check if it was a whole band no it is a whole band i think I, that's what i saw yeah there's a whole band because sometimes i find a lot of like one man projects i'm pretty sure it was a whole band i could have swore i saw a picture of them um but yes, you love black metal, definitely, definitely give these guys a shot. Or maybe some of you guys already heard of, of them already. Um, the next band is, let's see if I can pronounce this, um, Stromtha. Stromtha is more of an atmospheric doom metal kind. Um, I enjoy the music, but sometimes the vocals, I mean, I liked it. There were times where it was really good, but sometimes the vocals, it sounded like it was just cracking. Like, I don't know. Um, you know like when you're trying to sing or whatever because like I don't I'm not musically talented I can't sing so for us non-singers you know your voice gets like really tired out quickly well that's what it kind of sound like but I did like it though I really did enjoy it um so definitely give this band a shot too and the last band let's see they changed their name is the perfect mass now I'm hoping that's the recent name um, they used to be called um, Temple, yeah, just Temple. Um, they are more like melodic black death metal. Well, it's a solo project. It's a solo man project. Definitely give this band, a sh um, or should I say, this guy a shot. Um, it is it's quite interesting um, to listen to. We'll leave a bunch of links that I could find on these on these um, groups and everything. This country was so much fun. I'm so glad I picked Greenland next. It was something definitely. I need it like I really needed this kind of um, perspective from this different country and I really really I'm really really glad I got it hey I almost forgot to announce the um, <laughs> the country coming up next I'm sorry if you hear a lot of noise I just like I said I live in a noisy area um, the next country up is Republica Dominicana um, so yeah believe it or not there's another country called Dominica and for so and I was gonna do that one first Apparently, there's no metal bands in there. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to cross that country out. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the Dominican Republic. 